Uh, it was a very laborious process. I was living in, uh, and I'm still living in the US at the time. I got the offer to direct this uh, film based on Christian Mungiu's script. I knew uh, I am going to change some things, so before I came to Bucharest, Romania, I told them, okay, I want to work with uh, Voikan, who is a well-known and very good screenwriter in Romania. But at that point, I didn't know exactly what I want to change or how much I want. I just knew that I, as any director, they need to bring the project closer to their sensibility, let's say. The process took, I thought it's going, it's going to take two months. I misjudged it, so it took about six months. And we really did change a lot, but the, what remains is the seed of the character. So I was really inspired by the characters in uh, uh, Munjiu's script. Uh, I changed the, um, the narrative a lot. But everything is, with this film, everything is based around the characters. So you can say that uh, a good part of Mungiu's script still uh, resides in the, in the process. Narratively, very little, but uh, yeah. How did you feel, how long uh, did it take to film anything? Okay. Uh, not, not long at all. 20, I forgot the exact number, but should be around 25 or 27 days, plus uh, one or two days of reshoots. It, it, it was raining heavily in the last day, so we couldn't uh, finish it. And we took two months off. I also went to visit my wife in America, so I took a one, one month just vacation, off, just to clear my head. And we came back and we shot for two more days. So that, that was the schedule. Very fast. Yeah. Very fast. Very fast. And, uh, and the difficult thing was um, every day, almost every day, a new location because the, oh, it's almost a road movie. So the main character moves from one location to another. You never have time to, if you, oh, I missed something. So you come back to that location, we're going to shoot this. Once you move out of a location, it's finished. You cannot come back and do anything. It was very easy. First, he's about my age, I think just a year older, and we had similar experiences. I went to study filmmaking in the US, in New York, and he went to study screenwriting in Canada, I think in Toronto. So we really had the same kind of a background. And uh, we are friends with uh, Florin Sherban, uh, who won uh, the Silver Bear this year in Berlin. And we worked, me and Florin worked together on a film that also Tudor contributed to it, so we were like, both co-producers, me and Tudor, for Florin's film. So we knew a little bit uh, of each other before, so yeah, we didn't have any problem. We were friends working on the same project. It was yeah, very, very easy, very easy, relaxed. We even took a weekend, full weekend away from Bucharest to work on some nice cabin in the mountains. So it was very nice. Yeah, it was a very friendly, friendly, pleasant experience, yes. I was a lawyer before, so... I thought I'm 18, I'm too young to be a director, I'm going to go to a normal university, so I went law, to law school, then I was a lawyer for one year, but I knew from the very beginning, even from before starting the law school, that I want to be a filmmaker, but I just wanted to gather more experience, life experience. So then I did a um, one hour TV film for Romanian uh, television. Uh, and uh, I applied with that film to different universities and I went to Columbia University to study filmmaking. That was 2001. So I finished in 2006. Uh, I did a lot of short films for uh, my school work that I traveled around the world, many festivals. And then for the um, two years before Peripheric, my first feature film, I also co-produced an American feature film uh, by Eric Mendelssohn director from uh, New York that won in Sundance uh, Best Directing. So I've been mixing, co-producing and uh, directing. So my next project is going to be another co-production in America. So then after that I'll probably do my second uh, feature film as a director. Are you already working on a second? Uh, yeah, pre-production or even a little bit before people are working on the script and find the general direction of the script. Again, four months of casting. Uh, in the, which is a lot. I really, since I um, was living in America 10 years now, so I didn't know almost anybody. And my first joy in coming to direct the movie in uh, Romania was, okay, I'm gonna see almost everybody. So I'm just gonna take four months of casting and see everybody. And weirdly enough, I came back to Mimi and Andy and Anna, whom I already know from, because they appeared in many movies. So with my shorts, when I went to festivals, 
of course I never missed a Romanian film so I saw Mimi many times I saw Andy many times so I was aware of, and they were among the first to come uh, to casting sessions and I loved them but I said no no I'm gonna take two or three more months to see everybody and in the end I came back to Mimi and Andy and Anna because yeah, they, which was a good choice because they're pretty really perfect yes and they were Uh, some actors that I was really, you know, as is the case, like Anna was the first choice, but I had also the second and third choice. Brilliant actresses. Uh, I had a wonderful audition with Clara Voda, who plays in Florine's film as well as the mother, also Dorothea Petri, but yeah, it just happens. You cannot take everybody. But maybe for the next projects, now I know a little bit the pool of Romanian yeah. actors, so for the next project I don't even have to have that much long auditions, yeah, just go to, okay, this part is good for Clara Voda, this part is good for her. Now, we, uh, I knew him very well, he knew my movies, uh, I knew his movies, and I was very impressed with his work, and he's also, he's a, one of the best, if not the best DP in Romania, but he's only one year older than me, and he has already six films in Cannes, he won Silver Bear, Sundance, best film, so he's really, has a, an amazing body of work. And even today, I sent his reel, just, I'm just making a small parenthesis, a short one, to, to a very well-known DP in America, uh, very famous, and he said amazing work. For, so he's really, like, he could do a movie in America very easily, a Hollywood, big budget movie, and then come back and do a Cornelio Porumboyo movie that seems very restrained and very, just beautiful in its own way. But coming back to the question, we discussed a lot, so everything, is there for a reason. We chose from colors to how many lens flares to have for camera placement. Yeah, we discuss everything. Yeah, it doesn't bother me, but uh, I always answer every director feels they're an individual. So I'm sure that Munjiu and Puyu, they don't feel like they belong to the new, Romanian New Wave. Uh, I have my own story uh, and I really didn't care at all. Okay, let's see if I can make it within the same vein or let's see if I can make it different. No, I just have this story, these characters, I'm going to do the, the film. But on the other hand, I was, I'm also saying if you live inside the bubble, you cannot tell exactly how everything works. So maybe if people, so many people say there is a Romanian new wave, probably there is a Romanian new wave if you step outside of the bubble and take a look in and say, oh, okay. I see similarities, I see... But from, from inside, it's hard to explain. From inside, you're just one person trying to make one movie as good as possible. Apart from the small body of directors that everybody knows, there are many other directors in Romania making many different movies that nobody knows because they are not that successful in festivals. So I think if you look at it as a whole, Romanian cinema, Even this year, that we have 14 uh, new films coming out, so we have 14 premieres, and we only know of four or five. So there is 10 which are completely different. So just a small percentage of them, they became famous as well. Yes, yes. It will come out in December probably. As they usually do, we go to a certain number of festivals. I know that we're going to Toronto and some other big ones. And then after that, they say, okay, let's really sit in, uh, yeah, in Romania as well. Do you know already about other countries where the film will come out? So I know, so we were bought uh, by MK2, sales agent, so I'm sure they will sell it. I, yeah, for sure. I think in Toronto it will be the biggest uh, event for sales. So I don't know what will happen after this festival. I know maybe that it was sold in uh, Switzerland and Spain, but I'm not sure. Switzerland or something, I just got an idea yesterday. But I think it will happen after Toronto. I think by critics, they are, if you're talking about the Romanian New Wave, they are uh, praised and they are, most of them, uh, valued for what they are. But I think the regular people, they just say, some of them like them, and some of them say, hey, what the heck is this? I was reading a story about uh, Kerastami in Iran that nobody goes there to see his movie, nobody, so more, like the regular cinema goers. So I think something like that is in Romania as well. It was a movie like uh, Police Objective. I loved it really a lot. I think, I hope I'm not mistaken, but it just makes, let's say, 15, 20, 25,000 entries tops. So people really don't go to cinema that, that much. My impression of the country, uh, 
very frankly, is very idyllic. But because I'm cut off, so every time I come to Romania, I have a small cabin in the woods where my parents uh, bought a piece of land, like among pine, pine trees and a small river. So when I go there, I just spend time reading and walking my dogs in the forest. So it's it's false. It's false, but it's very, for me it's very idyllic. So I don't have that much of an idea economically or yeah. I think no. So. I have a positive uh, view of Romania. I love it. It's my country. You know, so, you know, we, I always get the questions about this movie. Uh, if I want to criticize Romania or tell something about like uh, a part of the society, I, that was never my intention. It just those kind of characters would have this kind of a story anywhere. Uh, mostly, just choose to work uh, with my friends. So it's not. Uh, I really don't want to become a producer. And uh, so far I produced two uh, feature films, one with Florin, who is, was my best friend. Now he moved back to Romania, but he was my best friend in New York. And one with uh, Eric Mendelssohn, who is a very good friend of mine. So it was more a labor of love. And for Eric, for example, I spent six months for doing all kinds of jobs. I was a visual consultant. I shot second unit photography, uh, location scouting, so more of a lot of coordination, a lot of... Uh, and I also have a camera package and lenses, so I gave them for the movie. So, yeah. It was just loving a project and wanted to contribute in some way. Personal. Person, uh, exactly, it's yeah. It's not a career you're following. No, 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 no. So, I'm going to do that in future as well. Because as a director, you make a movie every three years, let's say. And then in between, I still love to be on film sets. And it's nicer to be like helping other director friends bring their movies to. For me, writing is not the happiest phase in a project. Uh, so that's why I read a lot and you can immediately say, oh, I love this story or, okay, maybe something is not working here, but I can fix it. Instead of just having an original idea and spending three months, six months writing it, it drains a lot of energy from you. I mean, everyone does it differently. That's my, uh, my take on it. Some people just love it. I was talking yesterday with Cornelio Poromboyo and he said he writes, uh, he's very happy when he writes. So he spends a lot of months and then it becomes very easy for him on the set. Uh, for me it's the other way around. The writing is the hard part and directing and editing, I'm very happy. Well, thank you for coming to the movie and thank you for liking it.